Koenigsegg is highly revered as one of the most innovative brands in the automobile industry. No matter how hard you try, you'll struggle to find a bad car or auto component with the Koenigsegg logo on it. This Swedish hypercar manufacturer doesn't make substandard products. The company's newest piece of tech, a revolutionary electric moto called the Quark, is a testament to that fact. This tiny bit of automated magic from Koenigsegg weighs about 60 pounds and is just a few inches taller than a 330 milliliter energy drink. That's kind of small in the scheme of things if you consider what's been stuffed into other conventional cars. Now for the wow factor. It's powerful enough to dish out an unbelievable 335 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. That's some big performance numbers from our small friend. But how does it do it? Keep watching to find out. Koenigsegg Gemra has been chosen to carry this powerful bite-sized motor. It's the automaker's first ever four-seat supercar and as expected, it's extraordinary in more ways than one. To complement the Quark's output, the Gemera has an additional 2.0 liter twin turbo three cylinder engine that gives off 600 horsepower and 442 pound feet of torque. What's even more extraordinary is that this flex fuel powertrain benefits from Koenigsegg's superior free valve technology and doesn't have camshafts. As a result, Engineering Explained says this engine will be the first to have fully variable valve timing, fully variable valve lift, and fully variable without duration. So, you are a bit spoiled for choices when it comes to the possible combinations. It works hand in hand with the electric motors to produce an astronomical amount of horsepower and pound feet of torque. The Gemera is a novel engineering project that exceeds all industry standards. The high performance automobile that showcases everything Koenigsegg stands for. This is a parallel track where you get a lighter car, more performance, CO2 neutral, basically emission free. If you fill it up on renewable alcohol and fill it up with electricity, you can be as CO2 neutral and as environmentally friendly as a pure electric car. However, the 16.6 kilowatt battery pack keeps the electric motors in the Gemera running for a reported range of just 50 kilometers or 31 miles. Another thing about this battery is that it can be recharged via the engine through regenerative braking, which you can find more info on through the video linked in the top right corner. But as you know, this supercar functions on a hybrid system, so it doesn't only run on batteries. So if we take into account the gasoline engine, the total range of the car would increase significantly. Here's the reason for our assumption. The 2-liter inline 3-cylinder gasoline engine is insanely effective despite its small size and the cylinders are quite small but it carries a 95mm bore and a 93.5mm stroke, which means that the cylinders themselves aren't that small. On a general level, some engines rev very high to generate enormous power, while others depend on a boost to generate excess power. However, this particular engine we're talking about combines both techniques. On one hand, it has a 2 bar 29 PSI boost pressure, and on the other, it redlines at a whopping 8500 RPM. No wonder it is rated as the most powerful road legal 2 liter engine in the world. Lastly, before we move on to other things, it would be nice to talk about another unusual combination that Koenigsegg deployed for this powertrain. And to do that, we'll need to cast our minds back to the 93.5 millimeter stroke that's paired with the enormously high 8500 RPM red line. That's an unusual combination to have because what this means is that the pistons are moving really, really fast. So, if we decided to calculate the average piston speed, something we've done behind the scenes, which if you're curious about, you can always ask in the comments, it turns out that the pistons in the Koenigsegg Gemera's gasoline engine move as fast as those in Formula One cars. All right, back to the Quark electric motor. A quick dig into the dictionary tells us that Quark is a soft, creamy white cheese. Sounds yummy, but this can certainly not be the type of Quark that Koenigsegg's tech nerd founder, Christian von Koenigsegg, will be interested in making. So we dug into it a bit further, and thankfully, we found the right quark this time. Quark is actually any member of a group of elementary subatomic particles carrying fractional electric charge. Simply put, quark is a fundamental constituent of matter that combines to form other particles called hadrons. Too many physics terms already. We apologize, but we've still got a few more to go. The thing is, magnesium plays a significant role in how electric motors function. So, in developing the Quark electric motor, the engineers at Koenigsegg fused the concept behind radial and axial flux to form a new motor construction technique. In a radial flux, the motor's permanent magnet creates fields radially along the sideways of the rotor. However, in the axial flux, magnetic fields are created axially along the axis of the rotor. 
None is exactly superior or different from the other, except radial flux will produce more power while axial flux generates more torque. According to Koenigsegg, merging the two techniques together is the secret behind the invention of this advanced electric motor, which delivers a class-leading torque-to-power-to-RPM-to-weight matrix. In every Koenigsegg Gemera supercar, you'll find three standalone, highly efficient electric motors, two of which are good enough to produce 500 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque each, and paired independently to a single-speed gearbox of their own which helps them send power to the rear wheels. The last one, though, is not as powerful with 400 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. The Quark is designed to bolster the low-speed range of the Gemera, where you need it, for brutal acceleration, Koenigsegg electric motor design lead Dragos Miha Posterius said. Before we continue our discussion, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. With all these motors, the heart of the Gemera must be not only powerful, but big. Well, that'd be right, it is incredibly powerful, but not as big as you'd think. However, the premium power production of the lightweight quarks only lasts for 20 seconds. After that, the power output for each motor drops to 130 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. The battery in the Koenigsegg Gemera is programmed to limit the total amount of power the quark can supply, and also the three electric motors don't peak at the same time. So, while the power output of this tiny electric motor is quite massive and, to a large extent, inviable, it also has some limitations. So, the most significant one is the inconsistent power output, which is caused by the fact that all electric motors don't peak simultaneously. Also, the technology is both complex and expensive to assemble. Koenigsegg officials believe that the quark motor will be a good fit for marine, aircraft, or VTOL automobiles due to the lack of need for a step-down transmission and direct drive can be achieved as the RPM of the motor is right from the get-go. At the same time, the Swedish automaker is promoting another EV drive unit named Terrier. The Terrier, according to reports, will consist of two quark motors, a tiny but efficient inverter called David, as well as a low-ratio planetary gear set at each output shaft. All these combined will have a total weight of 187 pounds and produce 670 horsepower as well as 811 pound-feet of torque. Unfortunately, not everyone will be able to experience the sheer power of the quark electric motor because only 300 Koenigsegg Gemras will be made. However, the Swedish automaker says it's open to sharing this technology with other companies who are willing to embrace it. That means there's a possibility that we might see this tiny magical creation make its way into, let's say, a Tesla Model Z car or a new Rivian electric car. Would you like to see this happen? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.